Hey everybody, I'm Mitch with the Central Scene and we're here on our second video interview. Uh, today I'm talking to Arms Length Away and uh, I'd like to introduce Zach Godwin. Zach's one of the original members of the band. Yeah, so uh, if you've ever seen us before then uh, you know that we're lacking a few core members. Um, we uh, had a little while, uh, a little while ago we lost a vocalist and a bass player and uh, we also lost our drummer recently. So. Uh, in the meantime, we've been just taking it slow, and uh, until around December or so, when I got in touch with Joe, and then uh, we just uh, been practicing under the radar until until uh, until now, I guess. And uh, so we're we're gonna continue playing Arms Length Away as a three piece, I guess, until we can find a bass player, and then uh, continue like continue like that, getting back onto the playing shows and uh, getting back to doing what we were doing before. And uh, so this is Joe Joe Brown. Uh, he's going to be doing vocals Very and guitar, exciting. and then this is Dalton, and Dalton's going to be taking rolls of drums and, uh, and taking it on from there. So uh, I'm pretty excited. These guys are awesome, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. I think we're sounding as tight as we've ever sounded, and uh, the songs that we've been working on lately are just uh, going in the right direction, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for it. Yeah. So anybody that, that, uh, that did know Arms Length Away previously, uh, knew that it was a pop punk band. Mm -hmm. um, you guys, as far as pop punk bands, you guys had a pretty good following in the area. It's not one of the most popular genres in the area, but you guys always pulled a crowd, and everybody really got excited over you guys. So with the with the change in the band, with the new band members, um, what do you see the focus of the band being now? Do you still want to continue in that pop punk, or you, you see it changing some? Or yeah, well, I definitely. Uh... I definitely see us uh, doing about the same thing. Um, when we wrote our EP, Because You're the One to Care With Me, we were just uh, going for a certain sound, going for a certain genre, I guess. And uh, I guess the stuff we've been writing lately has been in that direction musically. Uh, I guess our focus is going to change a little bit lyrically, um, just uh, get a little bit more serious with it, break away from the sappy love songs that we hear in pop punk every day. Um, and just focus on real life issues and uh, try to pertain back to the gospel as much as we can with the experience that we've had personally. Um, I don't know, do you agree with that, Joe? Very much. <laughs> just like, really, as far as lyrical goes, like just really just personal experiences that you don't feel like you have to like make up a story with. Like, because you, you, you've been there, you know, you know what's right. going on, so. But. Yeah. Definitely. And with. Uh, with like crowd stuff, like we, we did have a certain following, but uh, I definitely want to break into a new area of of music of the scene. You know, like there's there's uh, indie bands, there's hardcore bands, there's punk bands, and there's like worship stuff, and all these all these music, all the genres, they have a bunch of different uh, subgroups, like cliques, I guess. And I guess my main view with this new arms length away is to just break into it, do the same stuff we've been doing, but to like get into those other scenes somehow. So like, we're bringing aspects of a punk in there, we're bringing aspects of uh, worship, we're bringing aspects of hardcore, but we're doing it in the way that we know how to do it. And we're reaching out and just being, being the same guys, you know, just normal guys, just getting into people's lives and, uh, you know, making an impact. So. All right, so um, Dalton, you know, you, you've played the drums in, in church, you've played a lot of worship music. And uh, you played with uh, Dine as Good Men and um, Upon Glory, you know, straight, you know, hard, hardcore, double bass type um, drumming. So, how do you see your style kind of changing or adapting um, to this kind of music? Well, I only see my style changing, but because, like, you know, I've played you know, hardcore. I play a lot of worship music now, and you know, I played Dine as Good Men, and like, I've always just, it's all for me. It's all about passion and just letting loose and just doing whatever comes to mind really and you know I definitely am I'm stuck about playing with this band you know you know I, I've always liked pop punk and uh, I can really just see myself adapting to this style of music and just going hard and uh, <laughs> that's what it's all about it's going hard and worshiping you know? so I'm definitely stoked to play with these guys. So has the focus to this point been on Dalton and Joe picking up on some of the older songs that were written, or have you guys already started writing new material? And... Yeah, definitely. Uh, we've, uh, 
Okay, with some of the members leaving, we've uh, had an agreement not to play a few of the songs off our most recent EP. And uh, since I wasn't personally in the band when they ever recorded the EP before that one, um, we're not going to play any of those songs. Uh, they're just a little outdated, and uh, I'm not a part of it. I never, I never was. So with them leaving, we've had to change a little bit. But uh, we, we play about four of the songs off of our, uh, four, uh, five songs off of our most recent EP, and. Um, we're, we have been writing. We actually, we finished up a new song today, or got a, a huge start on a new song. I think we just got to polish it, but uh, it sounds sounds awesome. It's in the, the same general direction, and uh, with uh, with the new members, we've got Joe's style and then Dalton's style, and they're just it's just meshing with with stuff that I've done previously, and it's just working out really well. It's it's a good fit. So, so what? Uh What's next for you guys? I mean, what's the uh, or, or what's the the first step? You know, to really get out into the public. Are you, are you looking to get some stuff recorded first, or are you looking to uh, start playing some gigs? Or you go for it? yeah, you got them. <laughs> um, basically, right now, what we're trying to do is, um, as far as taking this month in February, really trying to get tight and not really rush into a show. You know, make sure we're really ready for it. Um, we're definitely talking about trying to start off like recording like an acoustic EP or something like that, just mm -hmm. something to put a little bit of me and Dalton or something on there. And then um, hopefully sometime by the end of this month or, you know, whenever we get some writing finished, looking to do a, um, like a split EP with another band around here mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, still trying to figure a lot of things out, but uh, right now really just taking the time to make sure we have everything together before we like, go into shows. Hopefully we'll start playing in March. Okay. So where we can find some shows at. Yeah, definitely. Uh, and once we get back in the scene, we can... And the pick a band for that for the split like so the acoustic EP is just before songs probably recycled so of the most recent customer that can rip me stuff just acoustic and then possibly one new song just depending on how we choose to do it and then the the split will be two brand new songs just just showing people that we're back we're doing uh, this is what we sound like this is what we're going for and uh, you know just give them something fresh because no band want, or no, no fans like to just see a band just go stagnant for a year or two years, you know, they want to have something out uh, just to keep their ears listening, keep them uh, keep them excited on the music, so that's one thing I see lacking in our area is, uh, you know, um, the repetition of uh, just keeping people interested, you know. And that actually touches on something I wanted to get your guys' opinion on anyway, you know, the... Uh the central scene, and for most people that, that don't know this, and a lot of the fans of the Facebook page won't know this, um, we originally started the central scene as the Sanford scene. And, uh, you know, we, we only stayed the Sanford scene for a month or two, and after we started posting some pictures of some bands and, and things like that, you know, we started getting um, some Southern Pines, Rockingham bands, and we started getting some Apex bands and things like that that... Uh, so we made the name change to the central scene, but the, the focus is really the same. I mean, you know, what we want to do is kind of shine a spotlight on local music and, and the local scene. It's the central North Carolina scene. And uh, so kind of what I'm getting at is, is what, what do you guys see of our local music scene? You know, what are, what are the strengths of the local music scene? What are the weaknesses of the local music scene? I think some of the strengths, you know, as far as like, you know, whenever me and Dalton are part of Dinah's Good Man, you know, we play at a couple places in Pinehurst. Then um, some of the strengths and stuff, you know, a lot of the times there were like a lot of smaller venues and things like that. And um, there's just so much energy, you know, people crowd surfing there, you know, a lot of people just throwing down and, you know, just singing along with the songs and having a good time. So I think as far as like the smaller venues and stuff like that, a lot of people are a lot more intimate when it comes to the music and a lot closer. And it's just, you know, a lot more energy and stuff like that, but. Yeah, definitely. Uh, in the, from like playing previous hardcore music, uh, I, we, we, growing up in high school, like here, we were playing hardcore and then we were like trying to get out of Sanford. Sanford was like the bad zone. It was just like, you're in Sanford, there's nothing ever gonna come good from Sanford, you need to get out, you need to go to Greensboro, you need to go to Winston-Salem. And uh, so that's what we did and we moved, we went to Lexington and. Thomasville and Charlotte and all those places and uh, so doing all that got good connections with uh, just the hardcore scene and seeing in, in, in that area there's a huge passion there's like 
people are they, they get into it and it's it's a, it's a way different atmosphere than down here but coming with that atmosphere there's a bunch of negativity there's a bunch of hate going on and uh it's just something i don't want to bring towards here i want to bring the passion i want to bring the energy and i want to be bring the the people excited for music down there it's closer to raleigh um apex and carry and, and sanford and even towards southern pines and stuff because uh, the Raleigh scene was here, and then it left. It was here in like 2006, and I've been. I went to some awesome shows at the brewery and Lincoln, and saw what it was like, and saw how it could be again. And we, there's not. I mean, m most of the local bands here are just like they just want to worry about getting a lot of likes on Facebook, and they want to worry about getting the right type of fan group. And it's not about that. If you want to build a scene, if you want to build it, what? you've seen in other places that you go, then you need to start from the bottom. You need to start with relationships and, and people. You need to be, you know, you need to get yourself plugged in to the community. And that's not what people are doing. That's not what people want to do. So it, it's going to take hard work. And definitely, if we're, if there's going to be a start, and if we're going to be the band that starts it, then I'm, I'm going for it. Like, I'm ready, I'm, I'm fully ready to start that. If that means working harder, like taking more days off from that actual job and losing money, I'm down for it. Like, you know, if <laughs> if, if playing music is what you want to do, if changing your community is what you want to do, and if like, you know, playing music is what you really want to do, then you need to plug yourself in. You know, so that's a huge thing that needs to happen if Central Scene wants to grow. You know, yeah, I think supporting your own band and then also supporting other bands and loving them and being friends with other bands. You know, that's really the main key to it. You know. Yeah, no matter what the the genre, yeah. you know, that's one thing that's lacking too. Just genre hate, like not going to a certain show because they're not playing the same type of music you're playing, or because you may have had a fight with this other group one day, and like you know, it's not, it's just gonna cause animosity, and it's gonna cause a fraction in the scene. It's not what it's not what it's, it's not good for the scene at all. All right, well, um, I think we're gonna try to. Uh do an acoustic song real quick, get get you guys recorded and let people hear the way you sound right now. Yeah. And uh, I hope you guys get excited for it. I'm excited to hear it. Just 